this is the fourth poster dealing with author's purpose for this week. This is a passage called Compromising. Sometimes you need to answer questions about a passage you've read. Some questions require you to identify the author's purpose. Today I'm going to read this passage and go over some questions we would ask ourselves when we're identifying the author's purpose. Compromising. Dear Diary, I learned a new word today. That word is compromise. Let me tell you how I learned about compromise. Earlier today, my younger brother and I wanted to use the computer at the same time. We argued over who would use it first. My mother found us arguing. She told us that it was silly to disagree over a computer when both of us would get to use it at some point during the evening. Her words made sense to me. It really didn't make any difference which one of us went first as long as we both got a turn. In the end, I let my brother use the computer first. And, believe it or not, I felt good about my decision. Maybe one day soon I can teach my brother about compromising. Talk to you tomorrow, Linda. What we want to do first is think about the passage and talk about the different ways that we find author's purpose. The word pie can help us remember what the kinds of author's purpose are. P stands for persuade, I stands for inform, and E stands for entertain. As I read through, these, through this passage, I can go paragraph by paragraph to get an idea of what the author's purpose is. In the first paragraph, she's not trying to persuade us to see what compromise means, and it's not overly entertaining. So I think the first paragraph tells us that she is informing us that she learned a new word, compromise, and she's going to tell us the story about how she learned it. The next paragraph she explains the situation with her and her brother when they were figuring out who was going to get to do the computer first, or they're fighting over it. Um, it's not trying to persuade us of anything. Um, it is informing us of what the situation was, and it's kind of entertaining in the fact that everyone can relate to fighting with a brother or a sister or a sibling. Um, to give us that idea. In the last paragraph, she's informing us that she let her brother use the computer first and that she felt good about that. So overall, it seems that she is informing us about a word that she learned. If we want to go through that evidence, we can talk about how she learned the word compromise, about the situation that taught her what compromise is, and then the feelings about compromising that she tells us in the last paragraph. So when we ask ourselves these questions, we can find what the author's purpose is. The author does not tell the dictionary definition of the word compromise. The author tells us she learned about the word's meaning through experience, and her main purpose then is to inform the readers. That's how we can think like an author, is we go delve in deeper with the paragraphs that are given, and we can figure out what the author is trying to do. And in this case, it is inform us about compromising. Compromising. Dear Diary.